All right, here's the challenge for you. We have this page that's supposed to show all the blocks. Essentially, if we go look at the finished version here, uh, it's gonna, you know, any blogs that are there, they're gonna be listed here. It's gonna show the title, some of the date, and a bit of the description. Now, you don't have to get to the point where you can cut off the description. I'm gonna show you that specifically. But just like we have for the homepage, right? If we go back to the homepage, it's currently listing out all the projects uh, that we have. I want you to do the same thing, but for this blog page. So that this lists all the blog objects. The thing is we haven't made any blog models or objects for that matter, okay? So my challenge for you is to make that model and get them to show up here. So that involves going to the admin. Remember adding that bit that says you register with the admin page. Uh, you got to make sure that you create one on that admin side and then getting them to show up here inside of the template. There's a lot of steps, but you just learned these. This will be a really good practice to sort of cement what you just learned. And you know what the challenge is. Please go give this a good effort. Actually pause and go do this. It's going to be so helpful for you. Okay, go ahead, hit pause. Do that now. All right, hopefully that went well. Uh, let's go ahead and get to it. You may have done things the exact same way I did. Maybe you did it differently. There's lots of different ways uh, to finish the project here. So uh, what I would do is I'd go first to our blog app and go to the models and say, you know what? I've got to create a model here. So I'm going to say class. I'm going to call mine capital blog and give it models dot capital model with the colon. And then I'm going to start adding the pieces. So this is going to be very similar to the other models that we had or the other model that we had. So I'm going to copy what we have here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to paste this here. So we still want a title. We still want a description, uh, but we don't need an image and we don't need a URL. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. Instead, what we're looking for is we're looking for uh, a date. And so I'm going to call this just simply date and I'm going to say models dot and I'm going to do capital date capital field I'm just getting this from my notes so again you can go to that field reference page to get this I'm also going to change this from a char field to a text field it's just meant to hold a little bit more uh, information rather than the regular char uh, title mm, I, I'm going to bump this up a little bit to 200 I think the blog titles can be a little bit bigger than the project ones uh, but Everything here looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to go to my terminal, quit the server and say, I need, I have new model information. I have to make a migration. So I'm going to hit uptick until I get back to make migrations. And look, it created one for the blog. So then I'm going to do a migrate. Look, that's now been implemented. So I'm going to go back and run the server. And I'm going to come to our back end here. Let's reload. I'm going to go home. There's no blog. How do we fix this? We go back and look at our admin under portfolio as a reference. So I'm going to copy these lines of code there. Go back to the admin now for blog and paste them. Now I'm going to have to change this rather than project. I'm importing the blog class. I need to register that blog. But once I save this, Come back to the page. Ooh, look what shows up. Got all these blogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one. I'm just gonna say test one with some description here. We'll just do the date today, save this. And I'm gonna add one more and we'll say blog two. Some random stuff here. And let's go ahead and make this uh, a couple of days ago. So we'll go ahead and save that. All right, so now that I have those in the database, I've got to get them to show up on this page. So I'm going to go back to the view. Remember, we have to pull these things from the database, then send them to the template. So I'm going to go to the views here. Got to make sure that I import the blog. So I'm going to say from dot models import blog the class. OK, now that I have that, I need to pull out all the blog objects. So I'm going to say blogs with an S is equal to capital blog dot objects dot all with the parentheses there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save this and I'm gonna just simply pass these through like we did for the project. So I'm gonna say blogs with an S. Go ahead and pass forward those blogs. Okay, we'll save this and then I have got so many tabs here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a lot of these. Clean house a bit. 
All right, so I'm going to go to my all blogs here, and I need to do a for loop. So I'm going to say for blog in blogs, that ending percentage sign. Then down below, I'm going to do my end for. And then let's start by just saying something like blog.title. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save this. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that. We got the test one, blog two. I think that's the title that I gave those, right? So that's looking good. Uh, I'm going to do a little itty bit of styling here. So I'm just going to say, for example, put these things inside of a H2. Let's go ahead and add our description. So I'm going to say, let's do that in the P tag. So I'm going to say blog dot description that in an ending p tag save this and reload look this is already looking a lot better really the last thing is i just want to show the date here so let's do something like an h5 okay and then the double quotes say blog dot date save this okay so with this in place let's reload and look at that we got it this is essentially what you need to do now I'm going to almost guarantee you didn't go as fast as me, but that's because I've been doing Django for a while and I had just done this project. Like I have my notes here with me. Uh, so if you struggled a bit and it took longer, it's not an issue. The key part is that you're learning how this works and hopefully it's starting to click like, okay, I make these models and I can use that model to make lots of objects in the database and then get them to show up. Awesome stuff, huh? Now there is something that I want to show here. So uh, for example, let's say I have lots of different blog objects. Like, in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and just rapid fire add a ton of blogs here. Okay, so I'm just going to go crazy. Just keep adding a ton of blogs. Let me go ahead and add maybe two more. Okay, and we'll do one more today. Okay, we go ahead and save that. So I have six blog objects. So if I come to this all blog page. Look at that, I had so much gibberish. Google's <laughs> trying to translate the page. I wonder what language it thinks it is. Uh, Western Frisian. That is hilarious. Okay, uh, the point is though that here, maybe in my all blogs, maybe I don't necessarily want to show all the blogs. Like uh, maybe I only wanna show the five most recent blogs and I could later, you know, make a link to actually, you know, go to the next page or show all in one big list. If you want to limit the amount of things that you get, you can do that inside of your view here. So instead of saying blog.objects.all, you can go ahead and say blog.objects and then say order underscore by and first we can say so th this order by this isn't limiting it to five but this is saying i want the most recent ones if we say here negative date that means the most current ones are going to pop up to the top uh, so you'll notice we'll see if this applies so we'll go back to this page so look january 24th up top and oh and look at that so this 22 is sandwiched in the middle but now since we've ordered them if i reload this page Google trying to translate, look, that 22 goes at the bottom. So it, it does the proper job of uh, sorting those. So that's cool. But then limiting, all we have to do is at the bottom of this, we just put a square bracket and we're gonna do colon five, uh, which this is regular Python code. So you can do this with Python list. This says, hey, give me the last uh, or the last five things inside of here, or rather the first five things up to five positions, okay? So if we save this and then reload this page, okay? Uh, look at that. We've got the five objects in that one, the January 22nd one, that's not showing up. So this is a decision for you about whether or not you want to do this, right? Like if you do this functionality of saying, I want to limit how much are, is showing up here, you would then have to say, okay, I've got to at some point make a button here that says like, show all blogs. And then you have a page that actually shows them all or, you know, get into the paging thing where someone can hit next and you can see the next amount of blogs. But you can imagine if you had like 100, 200, 300 blogs, for them to all show up in one page, that's gonna take a really long time to load. And it's probably not what the user wants. Like they probably only want a chunk of the most recent blogs and then you know they can go to the next pages if they want to. That's completely up to you about how you wanna handle that. But I just thought it was a nifty feature and I thought, hey, why not share it with you, okay? 
So we'll go ahead and stop here. Hopefully you're getting a good grasp on how things work. I'm gonna give you one more piece of information on databases now that we have two models uh, that I think will really drive home the concepts there. And then after that, we're gonna learn about static images. Exciting stuff coming up.